Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, we will continue to populate the mall over here. I am... Um, no, wait, 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 wait. I think I see... Yeah, flying robot frames are available, but... We didn't make any bots, did we? <laughs> Excuse me. No, we did make bots. They're all over here. Okay. Um, They're also in the air. Good. So... Why are you not working? Because, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Because for one, you do need this to be, here we go, this signal, but. Ah, you're full. <laughs> that's going to be an issue. <laughs> um, yes, that's that's definitely going to be an issue. Uh, we, we, of course, can't push 5,000 bots into this network because, well, there, there's nothing to push. Uh, the queue is full, so we do have to wait on that. But we did see a bug over here, which is good. Uh, we did definitely push in some new construction bots, I think. Yes, we did. So over time, we will definitely get more bots in here. So let's maybe start off by making some basic resources over here and just see these bots start to fly off. So I'm, I'm very... Yeah, if I shift left click and shift right click, that stuff in the air, it, it, will, it will explode. Is there an option for stack sizes in here? Um, not really, it seems. Usually, there, uh, I do know that there are some pyanodons. There is like an option for automatic shift left click and shift right click. Um, there's a multiplier for that. <laughs> we might want to like reduce that a bit because Factorio does it like um, an automatic calculation to fill this machine up so it can craft for like a certain amount of seconds. And since we make about 40 craft, actually 20 crafts per second. And it runs, I think, for like three or four seconds. That would be like... That's going to be a ludicrous number. That is going to be such a ludicrous number. Um, Let's test. Yep, that's a ludicrous number. <laughs> that is such a ludicrous number. We will just be ordering up stuff by hand. And you know what? Since this is going to be super duper fast either way, we should probably do it like this. You over there, you start ordering in like things like iron plates. Mm, where's iron plates? Iron plates down here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's over there. And bring me like... Let's start with 200. Bring me 200 iron plates. And you over there, you want to be ordering up things like engines. Give me 200 of those. And then I guess we have to do it manual for all of these. There comes the iron plates. There we go. He fills up quite fast. It does go in and what is it? 10 items at... 3.6 rotations per second. So that's 46 items per second going in. We output capped. <laughs> um, here we go. We're still output capped. We are so output capped. What are we making over here? We're making 4 belts per second at crafting. We make 160 belts per second. Uh, we will be capped at, I think, 2 thirds of that speed. Here we go. And maybe just... We, we don't need full chest of this, but maybe do something like this. There we go. Yeah, we can already see. We definitely need to order up more engines if this thing wants to go. Let's go up to 500. And the same for plate. 500 plate as well, please. The machine does not really need to be running at full speed all the time. I mean, it, it will back up at some point in time, and that's fine. But I do kind of want to set this up in a way that we can at least have this machine run at... A decent amount of speed, you know? I think this is fine. It's 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 very, very... Uh, well, stop and go, but I think this is fine. Good. All right. We, we might have found a number over here. Uh, you over there, you need so much shine as well. Um, here we go. Let's start over here with belt then. Um, you need logistic belts. I guess 500. And what's the other thing? Iron girders. Let's also go with 500 iron girders. I don't think there's anything we can do wrong with that. Uh, it's going to be very annoying to, to hand-click all of this together. Um, that's usually why I do love like shift left-click and shift right-click for things like this. But I think we're going to have to do it like this. And then how many undergrounds do we want? Well, not that many. I think this will be fine. There we go. Yeah, it's a decent pace. Just, just do it at this pace. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good, 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 good. Um, splitters, same thing. Uh, what do we need for that? We need three inputs. So we need more engines for this one. 
Uh, but we do need things like iron. So, you know what? A copy of iron. Copy of engines. And copy of a belt. And copy of a belt. Here we go. And then, yeah, make up the two stacks over here. And then we are good. Actually, shit, we don't need iron. Dang. Um, pick it up. We need iron gear wheels, not iron plates. Good, 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 good. Okay, so make net. And then for these, we need beams, wheels, and belt. So, beams, wheels, and belt. You. You. And the beams. Who has beams? You've got beams. Give me all those beams, please. And then also two outputs over here uh, at one stack each. That should be fine. Well, that, that could be a thing. Bots are moving. And we can also see we now got to like 1,500 bots in the network. And the number is going up and up and up and up. The more bots are in the air, the more things over here start to move. All right. Same thing over here. This needs iron gear wheels yet again. Quite a bit. We also need some yellow belt over here to turn that into red belt. Um... We technically are making it right over there, but it is at a distance of four, and we can't... We could load it over. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Doesn't really seem like a... Oh, it's... it's. We need a space loader for this. Um, yeah. Let's put them in here. We don't have any space loaders. Space loaders. Space belt. Here we go. I mean, here we go. Then we don't need to request it up. It just goes in. Here we go. <laughs> Belt on belt action. Yes! <laughs> and I guess we then order up like 500 gear wheels or something like that. Here we go. And we definitely do want to push this into at least a couple of chests. Same size as these. There we go. Good. That seems to be working. But I think we do need another one of these. Yeah, that will that will start to get the resources flowing. We will probably have something like a deadlock or like like uh, not deadlock, but something like a lock at some point in time. But this machine is working fast enough. Good, blue belt. Uh, we only need steel over here. We definitely want two of these and definitely four of these. One, two, three, four. There we go. Same thing over here. Make about well, I guess this amount is fine. And then you over there, you start ordering up. Where is my lovely steel wheel? There we go. Five hundred. There we go. Get me steel wheel. I don't think we've got... Well, we do have immersion gear wheels over here. That should be fine. And do we have rare metals in space? I don't think so. No, we do not. So our excavator over here kind of stops at green belt. That's fine for now. Just just make blue belt. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, things we can do. Definitely do this again. Because this is kind of fun. And then we just move on over here. Good, 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 good. How many bots are flying around now? Robo ports. 1,700. Excellent. Good. And this thing over here mostly needs... Ooh. Wait a minute. There we go. You. You. There we go. And I guess you need... Yeah, you need red ones. So, how about we do this? And you need blue ones. Sure. Oh. What? <laughs> Shut down. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did the wire melt? Did we use too much power? <laughs> Wait, we were connected to... Oh, I think we might have blown the fuse. <laughs> um... <laughs> how much power were... Wait, wait, wait. How much power is this place using? Each one of these is... Well, it, it all kind of crashed and burned, so we don't know how much power it is, but... Oh, can I still get down? Is this the space elevator still operational? <laughs> uh, I do know that these machines over here probably do use quite a bit of power. Um, okay, we can still write down. Okay, what happened? Power grids, the last 10 minutes. Oh... Well, we were kind of using... What was we using so much power over here? The electrolysis plants? No. I mean, we were making four giga... We were making four gigajoules of, or gigawatt of energy with the steam turbines, and then it kind of crashed and burned. Um, 
and then everything crashed and burned. So what happened? What happened? <laughs> I thought we were good for power. Let's have a look over here. What, what, what happened over here? Uh, yeah, this place over here does have the issue that if we do get the brownout, it does kind of forget its its memory cell. That's a bit of an issue. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just, just disconnect you real quick. Make you a standalone system again. Let's kick you into gear real quick. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Nuclear power plant. Can't you maybe not just like fail on me? Uh, the pipes. The pipes are the decent temperature. Oh yeah. The, if we run out of power, of course, then the offshore pumps over here also kind of stop working. So we do need to. Oof, wait a minute. <laughs> we need to kickstart that place real quick. <laughs> We might need to make it so that we, we, we did a recent change on the Pyanodon's power plants, but we have an internal power network and an external power network, and we might need to do that over here as well. Uh, we do have wind turbines over here somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're making them. Let's have a look at the map. It's, it's easier on the map because then there's no red icons flashing in our face. Um, yeah, there they are. We need to yeah, put put down a little wind fan to power up the nuclear power plant. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I'm also kind of stuck in two turbines. There we go. Um, where are these? There we go. We just need the water to pump. Oh, you're still oh you're still connected over here. Isolated. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Ha! Huh, you want 80 gigawatts? Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Um. Okay, we we definitely should make it so that we can isolate the nuclear power plant over here as well, the same way that we did with the power plant in Pyanons. Uh, we could do that. By just putting down some... It's going to be a bit annoying and a bit disgusting. We do need to put some more landfill in over here real quick. Let's pick up some landfill. And also maybe just get rid of this real quick. And don't order new stuff. Do we... Oh, we still have the landfill chest over here. I'm not quite sure if there is... Okay, there's a decent amount of landfill in there. That should help us out. Yeah, we should definitely brown out protect the, the nuclear power plant. If the nuclear power plant browns out on us, then, well, that's an issue. <laughs> that is an issue. Good. Um, actually, the, the more I think about it, no, we do need... Hmm. Hmm. We do make extra heat. We do make extra heat. So we could have a little, little, and we only need like one turbine. I mean, how much power does the power plant need to be here? It needs like 250 megawatts. That's like nothing. We could make a little turbine set up right over there that just powers the power plant over here. And then, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. So, brown out protection of this. And for that, let's see. We, we need, we could put down a special one over here. Just like that. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and they're probably now... Yeah, because steam is high enough, they will not be doing anything like that. Good. We have to pick this fuck up. Oh, over here, though. Oh, never mind. Somebody brought him over. Thank you. And then we just land for all of this. And then we get ourselves a turbine. Let's go with two. Ah, uh, maybe one. One will be enough. Definitely one will be enough. And then we need a water pump. Mm, I should have a water pump on me. Where is the thing? Where is the thing? Water pump. It's definitely in here somewhere, but 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 <laughs> sometimes this inventory is just making you blind. There it is. Here we go. Here we go. You put you over there. And then put some more landfill down. Actually, no, put you on the other side. There we go. And give you the water access. There we go. All right, all right. No input fluids. Ah, 
yes, because you're not connected up to any kind of power. That is perfectly, perfectly fine. Now you are. Good. This steam turbine over here is going to be keeping power up in the whole power plant. And if we think about it, um, there will be a very easy solution to do this whole thing. Uh, we need some copper cable for that. Um, actually, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We have copper cable infinitely inside of this menu. Here we go. Get ourselves some copper cable. Where is that thing? Copper, 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 copper cable. Um, there it is. Nope, that's all me. There we go. And then this lodge, this with this, this with this, this with this, and this with this. So what happens now is we got this internal little network over here. Yeah, we're also still grabbing these, but that's fine. Uh, we got this little internal network over here, which is powered by this turbine over here, and only this turbine over here. And the base will be accessing power on the turbines on the outside. So, with this, we will always have enough power over here to keep the nuclear power plant and the memory cell accordingly running. So, we will be protected from things like a brownout. So, we then hook up over here again. There we go. <laughs> that just immediately goes full power. And we hook up. Can we get a connection over here? Well, we can get a connection over here if we place <laughs> you over there. Here we go. Good. And then we can see that we make about 5 gigawatts of power, and we need about 10, 7. Yeah, we, we definitely brown out at ourselves quite properly. <laughs> but the internal network over here is now, it requires a megawatt. It will always have a megawatt because it has this turbine over here. Even though it does says 17 over here, that's because we also kind of access these ones over here. But the internal network over here will always have enough power to keep the whole thing over here running. Good, but our excessive moduling kind of has put us into the position where we now do need to make a new power plant. And how far away are we from the next power plant? There is fusion power. No, is it fusion? It is. It should be fusion. Yeah, it's over here. But that is Energy Science Pack Mark III. We are basically just right in front of it. We could think about making a fusion power plant, but I think... The quick solution and the proper solution right now would be just like here. Make a second big boy plant over here. So, there we go. There we go. There we go. Where do we have it? We do have that thing in here somewhere, do we? I'm pretty sure we made a copy of you. Not this one. Mm, space nuclear. Not this one. Bioethanol. We don't need that. If not, we just make a copy of this thing. Is it maybe in here? No. That's, that's some kind of other logic. That is... Not quite sure what kind of nuclear power plant that one is, but that's not the one we have in front of us. Did we not make a nice blueprint of this magnificent nuclear power plant? Come on, Bolt. It seems I did not. Uh, unless I am being absolutely blind, which, well, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no such thing in here. Absolutely knows the train. Well, then we just do it the old school way. Copy paste time. Take the whole thing. Boop. Uh, we don't want... Oh, God, we can't zoom in there. Come on, fingers. <laughs> I think I got it. Would be so nice if you could zoom into this thing. But if I zoom, I just zoom into the background. <laughs> I think I got it. Either way, we want tiles first and not entities. Here we go. Oh, and entities, we definitely... We definitely don't want these tiles over there. Nor do we want these over here. And actually, now that I think about it, this is not the way to do it. Um, We want the entities and not the tiles. There we go. This is fine. Create a blueprint. And then we go all the way over here into set tiles. And we go for, where is it? For landfill. With no margin. Confirm. And now this blueprint over here has landfill underneath it. Here we go. So we can do this. And look at that. 
I'm not sure what that is, but we just remove it. And I think we do need that. And we probably do need this and that. And probably these gaps over here. There we go. Let's make it a little bit more pretty then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I think we missed those over there. Good. The bots are working. Excellent. Um, I also do have some more lands for my pocket. I'm just going to place it over here. Bots, take it away. There we go. There we go. Quick sudden uh, requirement of another nuclear power plant. Good, 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 good. No. What happened over here? Will this be fine? Oh, something terrible happened over here. And I don't think we can pick up landfill. Did we install a mod where we can pick up landfill? I don't think we did. Uh, we could check. We could check. No, we can't. There is a mod around. And that's called, I think, landfill plus or something like that. But uh, I think we'll just have to live with it. Maybe I was a little bit too eager over there. I was definitely too eager over there. I just filled it all in because I was like, ah, oh, yeah, this looks like stupid. Ah, that, that's, that's all on me. We could, of course, just reset it and reload it. I might just do that real quick. Uh, sorry about that. Which one of this is the last one? Uh, 20, 25, 30. So annoying that you can't pick up landfill with Victorio. <laughs> Because if you misbuild something, and you have to, it's it's just borked forever. There we go. There we go. There we go. Worst timing for that auto save. <laughs> Absolute worst timing for that one. Oh. There we go. Load this one, please. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Okay, that is where we are working on this one. Perfect. Yeah. For example, this. We can't pick this up anymore. <laughs> it's now there like that forever. Well, yeah, make it straight. Also, don't don't build under this. It will be kind of stupid. Ah. Uh, I would love to pick up landfill. Absolutely. Good. Now, if we would have been playing this on the server or something like that, it would have been even worse because then we would have to recharge and reload the server. Okay. That's also missing all the parts over there. That's fine. We know how we can handle that. There we go. Um, Disconnect you. Disconnect you. Disconnect you. And disconnect you. There we go. And then we need to reconnect them. Mm. Eh. <laughs> I'm so used to get out of menus by just pressing and tapping escape. <laughs> and you can't do that when you're in satellite mode. Uh, you over there. Good. Get some power. And... Well, we don't really want to connect with you. Mm. Yeah, just put some mantle down. Here we go. And then... There we go. Good. All right. Second attempt. <laughs> this time for real. Um, make a copy of the whole power plant. Here we go. Get in everything. Make a blueprint. Then we don't need whatever this is. We don't need whatever that is. And there's a power pole over there that we don't need. Good. I think I got it all. And then set tiles. Not space stuff. This stuff. Confirm. Here we go, here we go, and then let's open up the map. No, I, I, I nudged it. Confirm, here we go. Distance of one. Put it down, and then don't do this. They're so freaking fast about it. Oh, that was my pocket pots. Oh, <laughs> we have to load again. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, then we can at least fix this error over here. I hate landfill. <laughs> I hate it. There we go. Okay. Last try. This time for real. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just stand away from it. Let's open up our map. No. Well, let's open up you then. Copy all of this. 
There we go. Get whatever this is out of the way. Create a blueprint. I mean, first time is a charm. We're also kind of just getting better at it. <laughs> uh, it seems we do have to connect it up like this. Do we? No, we do not. We do not want to. We do not want to have too big of a, of a steam tank over there. Good. Do it like this. And then... Yeah, why does it do this? How is this done? With tiles, please. I'm just not fast enough. Okay. <laughs> there is some fuckery going on. There's definitely some fuckery going on. Um... I'm getting annoyed by this. <laughs> I'm getting so annoyed by this. Our bots are too fast. <laughs> Final approach. There we go. Uh, and I'll just delete some of the landfill. Yeah. Uh, get rid of this thing. And I'll just immediately delete the landfill after we set it. Confirm. I was also kind of hoping that if we do not power up like things in the mall... That oh now it's fine over here, but it's not fine over there. This one down here is fine. That one over there for some reason is not fine. There we go. But this one down here is definitely fine. So it has to be like this. There we go. There we go. We got it in the end. Freaking landfill. <laughs> Good. And now we can also refix up everything. So we can definitely um, close the gaps in here. Good, 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 good. And then also we probably need to repower the bots over here real quick. Like the, 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 the more bots. We also need to put in the fix over here for this thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. Ah, uh, it's been like five minutes on something. It would have been done if we could. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to bitch about it anymore. <laughs> good, 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 good. Connect it up. There we go. Yeah, these bots over here, they're not tired. That's also fine. Connect this one up and... There we go. Uh, we are still... this For this one, we have not done the disconnect yet. There we go. Disconnect is done. And you are having power issues now. Why is that? Never mind. It's it kind of stopped. Probably because we needed to recharge some things. Ah, the rubble ports are charging over here. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. So then we do need the second turbine over here. No problem. We can place the second turbine over here. And then place the water pump over there, something like that. Here we go. And then place you over there and make sure that this power connection over here does not exist. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then you should have a second turbine in here. There we go. That helps you with all the power that you need. You make 10 megawatts. You also make 10 megawatts. Only says we have a production of 10 megawatts over here. It should say 20. Probably because you are just being it. Take you out. Yeah, now it's in here. There we go. Good. All right. <laughs> Took a bit longer than expected. Sorry about that. Uh, let's help these out over here with our pocket bots. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And power is fine over there. And power down here. Yeah, these these over here are now running at full power. Woo. Oh, we do have a bit of accumulator charge. Perfect. Excellent. 
All right, all right, all right. So I will probably be spending my time over here building this nuclear power plant over here and landfilling everything we need because we will probably be out of landfill any second now. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in making this channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking where we do even more Factorio and also some other games every now and then. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around!